Hi guys, uh, the purpose of this video is basically to advise all drivers to put an additive in your gas tank before filling up at any gas station. Uh, there was just an incident recently that happened in Guelph, Ontario in Canada where people had bad gas. This just happened recently. Um, gas went into their engines. Uh, there was water apparently in the tank. Uh, so basically a lot of people had to get towed. Uh, cars were shaking within five minutes of filling up, sputtering. A uh, lot of problems, guys. Uh, basically, what I'm suggesting to everybody, and I do it already for many years, and people think well, I'm wasting my money, and I tell people I'm not, is to buy a product like this made by Startron. I usually treat my fuel every fill up with this product, uh, makes the engine run as it should. Uh, you can't trust any gas station, unfortunately. So you never know what could be in the gas in the gas tanks at the gasoline station. Having this at the tank, every fill up, uh, works really really well. Uh, it's about 30 millimeters for every six gallons. Is the treatment? There's directions on how to use it. Uh, works very very well. I recommend it to all cars. Okay, and also another product that works really well is is uh, gas line antifreeze right here you can actually use this stuff in winter or summer okay uh, basically what this does is if you know if you notice your engine is not running right uh, could be after a fill up if you have one of these keep it in your trunk in case of anything pull at this pull over on the side of the road and put this directly into your gas tank this will basically remove all the water in your um, gas tank so any like uh, water gas line antifreeze product because it has alcohol will dissolve all the water that would be in your gas tank. So this is a good product and also this is a good product to have on hand and to use on every fill up because apparently there's people that have up to $2,000 repair bills for going to a gas station that gave them bad gas. So I'm just letting you guys know uh, you can't trust all the fuel at the pumps nowadays and you should treat your fuel uh, with every fill up okay guys I'm thinking there's a video here of the article let me just see if if they talk about it let me just take a look guys okay a number of Guelph drivers who bought gas at the same gas station are facing expensive car repairs after pumping gas contaminated with water they were forced to have their cars towed and deal with repairs of up to $800 after buying gas last Friday at the Mobile Gas Bar at 546 Woolwich Street. At least eight people have come forward so far. More are likely. Some of these people's cars wouldn't start, they had to tow their cars and get their tanks emptied. They all purchased gas from the same mobile gas station. The operator of that station says he has identified the cause of the problem and is working with the customers to rectify the situation. Lacey Frazier stopped to put $90 of gas in her SUV since it was running on empty and she had to pick her child up from daycare. Literally within five minutes the car started shaking and sputtering, said Frazier. She picked up her child and drove home and was surprised she made it in her driveway where the car stopped running. She had it towed to a Kia dealership and it estimated the repairs would cost between $800 to $2,000. With a looming cost ahead she got a second and third opinion. Both told her it would be $800 because of the type of car she has, a Kia Sorento. She thinks 25 is the minimum number of people impacted by the bad gas at this location. We're a young family living paycheck to paycheck. I mean selfishly I just would really love to see like our payments covered because we really can't afford this. On a grand scheme obviously I would love to see everyone's covered and the company just take some sort of accountability, because this is not okay, said Fraser. Those drivers put between $30 and $90 worth of gas in their cars, paid $90 to $160 for tows and ended up with repair bills ranging from $160 to $800. They bought the gas Friday between 11 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. The gas station was closed Monday and Tuesday and the pumps had signs reading, out of stock. People impacted by the bad gas have formed a Facebook group chat where they are talking about forming a class action lawsuit.
They want accountability and for the costs incurred by the bad gas to be paid back. Imperial Oil sold its retail sites in 2016 Esso and Mobile sites are now independently owned, said Kerry Scobby, Public and Government Affairs Manager for Imperial Oil, in an email. Guelph today was contacted by a man identifying himself as the operator of the gas station after Global Fuels requested he respond to Guelph today's request to them for comment. The man, who declined to give his name, confirmed the gas station is currently closed and that he is reaching out to customers who have contacted him. Complaints came in about the gas on Friday after the tanks were filled on Friday morning, he said. A technician came to investigate the issue. So we were able to figure out that it was water entered to the gas due to some faulty equipments, he said. He doesn't know when the station will be up and running again but is in contact with its insurance. It's just that we are trying to fix as soon as possible. Because it might leave a bad impression on the people and the customers over there, in the community, he said. Brian Holstein has a similar story. His bad gas and subsequent repairs cost $300. He had his car towed to Norm's Esso where a mechanic showed him a sample of the gas from his car. It looked like it was half fuel and half water with a clear separation between the two. It's called bad gas apparently. That's the term used for that. But it's watered down gas, said Holstein. With the receipts he kept he hopes he will be paid back. Norms has had five people bring their vehicles to the shop with the same symptoms, said manager Corey, who didn't want his last name used. The fuel was put in a clear jug and the volatility was checked. And we did notice the top layer was always more combustible than the lower layer. So I'm not too sure what it was contaminated with whether it was other fuel, whether it was water or something else. I'm not too sure, the manager said. So just kind of hoping that it was just a bad load of fuel, unfortunately that got through. Hopefully there wasn't anything else going on, he said. Charlie Stafford hasn't experienced a problem like with his car before. He put $50 worth of gas in his car on Friday. The next day it didn't start. What was supposed to be a stop to put air in his tires turned into a $300 problem for Jonathan Forbes when he put $30 of gas in his SUV. His car stopped working. On the weekend he went to the gas station to speak with the owner but it was closed. Another person was there who had the same problem Forbes had. He tried to reach out to the company by calling and filling out a complaint form. He's also contacted the Better Business Bureau to report it. The operator said they will work to compensate those affected. I can say that we will be trying our best to, you know, resolve this issue, and its technical error. And we didn't mean to, you know, put people into this situation personally or intentionally. It's just that we are trying to resolve this. To resolve this situation as soon as possible, said the operator. Well guys, that sums it up. So this is why these products that I'm showing you make sense. Having Startron on every fill up is very very good to have uh probably would have prevented uh this uh the vehicles uh that were at that gas station could have prevented going to a repair shop if every engine had this uh additive in the gas tank prior to fill up okay like i said they use this in the boating industry in the marine industry uh nobody uh fools around with boats that cost half a million dollars uh, it's a very good product. I use it in all my cars. And like I said, if you use this, you may have alleviated the problem that people were having at that gas station. Plus, you don't know where you're going to get bad gas. So that's why you should have this in every fill-up. And also, uh, a bottle of this gas line antifreeze would have really uh, did well on those people's cars if they noticed sputtering. They could have went to the side of the road and they could have poured this immediately into their gas tank to avoid any further damage and then just get a tune-up done because probably the spark plugs would have been all screwed up anyways. So anyway guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Just to let you guys know that certain additives do make sense and do need they should be put in cars. Uh, as you can see, situations like this do occur.
Okay, guys. Anyways, guys, have a good day. Bye.